Hey guys, welcome to Savvy Saps Podcast. I'm your host, Sabrina Salvati. I have a rather interesting story for you that came out recently. So on April 13th, there was a story that came out of Knoxville, Tennessee, about officers responding to an active shooter at Tennessee High School. Listen to this. Now, this is the story from the Associated Press. A student opened fire on officers responding to a report of a possible gunman at Tennessee High School. Police shot back and killed him. The shooting wounded an officer. Police found the student in a bathroom at Austin East Magnet High School in Knoxville a city about 180 miles, but you don't really need that information. Now, according to this, the police ordered the student to come out, but he wouldn't comply. And that's when he, they're talking about the student here, reportedly opened fire. Police fired back. So what essentially happened is that there was a call about an active shooter at a school. Police showed up, police approached the student. Police said when they asked the student to come out of the bathroom, the student opened fire on them, which caused one of the officers to become injured. He was hit with the student's gun, hit with a bullet from the student's gun, okay? And then the officers fired back. Hold on to that. And remember that because that is going to be important because on Saturday, a different report came out. Funny how that happens, isn't it? So on Saturday, this is the report that came out from ABC News. Preliminary examinations indicate the bullet that struck the Knoxville Police Department officer was not fired from the student's handgun. I'm going to say that one more time. Preliminary examinations indicate that the bullet that struck the Knoxville Police Department officer was not fired from the student's handgun. So let's go back to the original story. The police officers reported that they responded to an active shooter at the school. When they got to the school, the student was in the bathroom. They told the student to come out of the bathroom. The student opened fire on the officers, injuring one of the officers and the officers fired back and shot the student. But I just told you about the information that came out on Saturday, which indicates that the bullet that hit the officer was not fired from the student's handgun. Now, I'm no rocket scientist here, but something doesn't add up. And you have to ask this question. If they are now claiming that the bullet that hit that officer did not come from the student's handgun, where did that bullet come from? There are all different types of stories coming out from Knoxville about this incident. Some people have taken to social media. I saw a video on TikTok where another person was saying that the officer shot himself to make it seem like the student shot him. Now, regardless of which side of the story you're on with this, one thing I want you to think about, the police lied. Remember, the first story that came out was the police officer's story. They said the student fired at them first and that caused injury to one of the officers. That has now been determined as of Saturday that that was not true, at least the student's handgun 
did not injure the officer who was injured. Was there a police officer shot? Absolutely. But they have determined that this did not come from the student's handgun. So regardless as to which side you're on with this situation, the police officers still lied. I don't know who shot the officer. Like I said, there are stories coming out saying that the officer shot himself to make it appear as though the student shot him. But either way, the police lied. What do you know? The police were dishonest. I wanted to talk about this story because I felt like this story was not getting a lot of attention. There's so much going on with Adam Toledo, with Dante Wright, with George Floyd trial. There's a lot of issues with police brutality that are in the news right now. And I just wanted to make sure that everybody hears about the situation. And I want you to also ask yourself this question. If the police lied about being shot from the student's handgun, how do we know they're telling the truth that the student fired at them first? We don't. We don't. Now, there has been further investigation. They will investigate this further. And there's more that's going to come out from this story, I'm sure. But nothing takes away from the fact that the police lied about being shot by the student's handgun, the officer who was injured. We need to find out where that bullet came from, which gun it came from, because that will help a lot more with this case. But regardless, a student is dead. I don't know how you feel about issues about police brutality, but I'm very much against police brutality. And with everything that we see going on in the news with police brutality, my advice to you is this. Regardless if you are black or brown or white, we need everybody to get out and protest against the police. It's been a, a problem in this country for a long time. And it can't just be black people and brown people out there fighting. We need everybody. We can't do it alone. So if you cannot physically go out and protest, and I know some people cannot do that, pick up the phone, call your local congressmen, call your local senators, and ask them to push these issues. Ask them to advocate against police brutality. Because even after George Floyd, we can see that this is still a problem. And this is why I'm 100% for defunding the police. And I'm 100% for eventually abolishing the police. Because we have tried to do things the right way. And it has not been fixed. Somebody has to fix this. Police are killing black and brown people and there's no accountability. We cannot allow this to continue. So I'm going to ask you, if you are watching this, please get out there and protest if you can do so. If you cannot, please contact your congressmen, your senators. And if you are white, please make sure that you contact your friends, your family members, and have these conversations with them. We can't just sit back and ignore and say it's not our issue. No one should be saying that at this point. As an African-American, I avoid the police as much as possible. I don't want anything to do with them at all. I don't trust them. I'm sure there are some good cops. But there are enough bad ones that's making it bad for all of them and for all of us. So again, the story that comes out of Knoxville, once again, the police have lied. 